Oh man, 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 man. Speaking of cocaine. <laughs> cocaine bear. Yeah, what's this about? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. We were at the cinema the other day and we walked past the poster for cocaine bear. What is cocaine bear? <laughs> <laughs> What was it? Did you get? Did you get an answer? No. I just know it's a thing. What's what, happening? What were you in the movie to see? <laughs> <laughs> One of the worst films I've ever seen in a long time. What? Cocaine Bear? <laughs> no, 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 no. But worse than Cocaine Bear. Worse than Cocaine Bear. It was called Unwelcome. How many people do you think were in the cinema watching this film? I'm gonna go with a whopping three. It was four. It was fun. There were two other two people. people. Wow. Yeah, and this was its opening night. Damn. Um, so That's ass. We're living in London. And... Oh, Winnie, I'm going to kill you. Holy shit. Hang on. Hold on. Okay, my dog is dead. Um, so, it was its opening night, and we went to see it. It's a couple who lived in London. She felt... Oh, Winnie! <laughs> they lived in London. <laughs> she fell pregnant. He went to the shop to get some alcohol-free champagne. Mm -hmm. And this, like, gang of thugs were like, Oh, what you got there? Can I have a look at it? And, like... We're winding him up, and they grabbed his bottle, and he pulled it away, and he went, Actually, it's no secco. My girlfriend is pregnant, so you can all go fuck yourself. <laughs> so they follow him into the flat, and beat the living shit out of him, kick mm -hmm. his pregnant girlfriend in the stomach, and they're like, Oh, we need to leave this place. Uh, so basically, they go, they want to leave. Well, his, his aunt, who lives in Ireland dies and leaves oh, them wow. a big fucking country house mm -hmm, so they move to ireland conveniently enough um and there's this woman who's like mind oh my god question? the same shit over and over again <laughs> shit oh <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no 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 anyway continue tell me more about this movie <laughs> oh i don't know if i can um <laughs> Yeah, they go to Ireland, um, live in the house, and, like, this this woman who was, like, friends with the lady who died was like, can I ask you a question? Can you please continue the tradition? And she takes them to, like, the bottom of the garden, there's this gate that goes into woods, and there's a hatch next to the gate, and says, can you leave a blood sacrifice here every night, please? Mm -hmm. And she's like, why? And she went, the red caps. And they're like, what? The red caps. The red caps. Are these little goblins who live in the <laughs> woods, and if they don't get fed, they kill people and eat them? <laughs> um, so, shock horror, she doesn't pay pay a blood sacrifice, and someone goes missing. Okay. Um, anyway, they go to get some work done on the house, and they can't find a builder. So, and so they find this builder in like a trailer, fucking building company, and they're called, they're called the Whelans. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a uh, and there's some misfits. You don't, you don't hire the Whelans. <laughs> um, anyway, they have altercations with these people. Um, fucking the like the it's the father, his sons, and his daughter all work in this family business. Sure. And uh, the father's like, "Don't call me by my name. Call me Daddy." But it's it's all just fucking okay. weird. Um, yeah. The son, one of the sons is uh, he's. You know, he's got some some stuff going on up in his know. brain waves. Yeah, they never say what it is, but he's like, you know, when in a movie <clears throat> they make someone like offensively disabled. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh, well, he's played by the bloke who plays Hordor in Game of Thrones. Funnily enough, oh, that um, bit, the big fucker. Yeah, um, and he tries to. He has like a fucking Lenny from of Mice of Men moment, and he's because the, the wife's nice to him, mm -hmm. and he's like going to the wife, and he's like, "I like you, I like you a lot, actually." 
<laughs> and start squeezing her like fucking Lenny does to Curly's wife and of mice and men. Yeah. Uh, fucking, she's getting squeezed and she goes, help, help. And because she's been feeding the little goblins at this point, the little goblins come and kill him and leave his head on the doorstep. Okay. Uh, anyway, the Whelans come back. There's a big fucking brawl because they're trying to kill these guys who they think have killed one of their fucking family members. They haven't. Mm-hmm. Uh, the girl goes into the fucking woods. She's heavily pregnant. Goes into the woods and she's like, Please help me. I'll give you anything. Um... So they come and kill all the Whelans. She has the baby and they come and steal the baby. Yeah, I, I figured as much. Well, she goes and finds where they live, <coughs> goes down into a cave system, finds the leader, puts her thumbs in the leader's eye sockets, <laughs> kills the leader. Then the, the goblins the, the, decide the she's a new leader. Huh? The pregnant woman does this. Yeah, well, she's not pregnant anymore. She's had the baby, hasn't she? Ah, uh, okay. I thought she said uh, she was heavily but- pregnant running away. But yeah, they take the baby, I just said. Phys- they physically take the baby out of her. No, she gives birth and then they come and take the baby. Ah, so it's like a couple of years past then, is it? No, no, she's heavily pregnant. She's like ready to drop. It's like a week's past. Ah, okay. They come and take the newborn baby. So she goes, finds where they live, goes into the cave, puts her thumbs in the leader's eye sockets. Uh, th- uh, these are little uh, goblins, right? Yeah, and these little goblins. So it's like <laughs> she kills this CGI goblin. Okay. And then the CGI goblins decide that they now worship her, um, and it ends with them doing a ritual of they make a skull full of blood float over her head and pour it over her head, and she's going <laughs> at the end of the film, and that's how it ends. <laughs> and honestly, it was the most in in like incohesive fucking Piece mess of, of a film I've ever seen. It was so it was meant to be a horror. It was so funny. It was so bad that it was funny. In 30 years' time, this is going to be a cult classic. <laughs> you think gonna it's going to get the room? Film. It's going to get a room treatment, is it? Yeah, definitely. But like, it's it's obviously not as bad as the room because it's mm-hmm. like a fucking big production. Yeah. But, but it's it, but it, it's yeah. ass. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, there's like a million foot. Like the first Paranormal Activity was so ass. Yeah. But you, the little goblins, right? Obviously, it's set in Ireland, so everyone's Irish. Apart sure. from the two main characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the goblins just are normal voices. They've got they've got fucking Irish accents, but all this is normal voices, but pitch raised. <laughs> oh, oh, no. So it's like helium. <laughs> it's so bad. So it's like the biggest piece of ass ever. Oh, it was terrible. You know, we just sat laughing in the cinema. And the couple in front of her were really invested in the film. We were getting really mad. <laughs> they kept looking back to see like the goblins on the start screen laughing. and stopped laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had a similar experience like that. Oh man, this is like, damn, this is like seven years ago, I think. Do you ever watch the Xander Cage movies? No. Okay. No, I never. So Xander Cage is like Vin Diesel movies, and they're like really. Oh ass. You, wait, no, 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 no. You mean the Triple X movies? Yeah, Xander Cage, Triple X. Yeah, I forgot that was his name. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've, uh, I've, I've seen Triple X 1 and 2. Okay, so the third one is like the best movie in the trilogy. It's fucking hysterical. And it's The Return of Xander Cage. It's The Return of Xander Cage, yeah, because the second one had Ice Cube yeah. in it, right? Yeah, it was Ice Cube. It's fucking, that's a piece. The, the first two are really boring. The third one is like, you know you're in for... It, it, uh, like, you know you're in for the good shit in the, it, with the third movie? Because uh, the, um, the opening scene is like... Um, a fucking like guy tries to steal a uh, like to rob a um, like a little coffee shop and like I think it's Samuel L. Jackson and um, Samuel L. Jackson uh, is trying to recruit someone else for Triple X and it's fucking Neymar. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, it's Neymar. No. <laughs> but why is it Neymar? I don't fucking know. But. Importantly, <clears throat> uh, you need to watch it. It's it's fucking hysterical. But when we went to go see it, there was like, s- there's me and three of my other friends went to go see it, um, and um, watch call it. The movie is so bad that like we were like fucking pissing ourselves watching it, right? Um, yeah. And there was like at least fifteen or twenty other people in the in like the small little. Um, 
room, like the little theater or whatever. Okay. And we were creaming ourselves laughing the whole time. And like by the end of it, everyone in the like no not everyone was laughing when they were watching it, but by the, but by the time we finished like got to the end of the movie, like half the people in the fucking um <coughs> like theater were actually laughing because they, they realized how fucking ridiculous the movie was. Um I don't know I don't know how I can describe it because I don't want to fucking spoil it for you because it's actually worth watching. It's so funny. Okay. Um they're like there's parts where they're doing like the introduction to all the characters and like I, I, I can't believe that it's a movie that was released and people went, yeah, that's good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's beyond me. It's one of those kind of movies. Yeah, that, that, that was the reaction I had to this film. We went and saw it. It was like, how did this happen? Like, how did this ever get <laughs> greenlit? It has happened. How did anyone read the script and go, yeah, that's good? <laughs> they're, they're like, <laughs> we're not, we're not going to make money. We're gonna make a shitload of money. See, one of the uh, one of the one of the characters in the film was played by a girl out of Dairy Girls. Oh, okay. Um, I've seen Dairy Girls. I enjoyed Dairy Girls. All the main characters are enjoyable characters, mm -hmm. well acted. So I was like, oh, she's in it. I'm, well, I, I, she's good. Her entire character was just her trying to shag the husband. I see. Like she, she was, she was one of the Wheelans. Ah, uh, was she? She was the daughter Wheelan, and her entire <laughs> thing was she was trying to just shag the husband who she was working for the entire time, <laughs> saying like, "You seem a bit pent up. Do you want some relief?" And that was her. Not own really, no. Yeah, that was her entire character. Damn. Where is she when I'm around? Oh, <laughs> uh, we see she's she's from the north, Jamie. Ah. Uh, see, you said they moved the to. You said they went to Ireland, Tom. Yeah, say. but she's still a Northern Irish actress. Mm, yeah, but... The character... Is from... Real Ireland. Yeah, where? Where about do they go? Oh, it doesn't even say. They're just in Ireland. Uh, okay, because they could be in uh, the North. You know? No, no, no. They're defi definitely, definitely not in the North. They're down south. Yeah, they're paying for shit with the Euros, like. <laughs> they're Southern Irish. So unlucky, isn't you? They're in real Ireland. <laughs> Northern Ireland's a funny old place, right? It's not real. Because you guys don't want Northern Ireland. You guys don't want it either. And we also don't want Northern Ireland. No, do you know what the problem is? Some fucking people in my country are dumbasses and they do want it back, even though they don't fucking realise the problems that come with having that part of the fucking country. And you know what the problem is? Some fucking dumbasses in my country love that we have the north <laughs> and want to keep the north of Ireland. Why, why would you guys want to keep it? Because... <laughs> no, I'm not going to say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I could put together why because they might want Because we stole keep it. it. <laughs> it's the last good colony. <laughs> the Tories. The Tories love Northern Ireland. But uh. the, the normal people in the country. <laughs> because none of us want Northern Ireland. Because you guys have that country, uh, the economic state in your country is getting worse and worse with each passing yeah, year no. because of how much fucking money it takes to keep that piece of shit afloat. And the funny thing about it is, right, you've got fucking the Northern Irish people. Some of them think they're British. Some of them think Some they're of them Irish. Think they're Irish. Yeah. But we don't think they're British, and you don't think they're Irish. They kind of. So what are they? In fairness, they kind of have their own identity now, you know what I mean? Like, they've they, got their own fucking weird accent. They are, they are Northern Irish at this stage, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, like, listen, credit where credit's due, you know? They modernized um, terrorism, you know what I mean? They invented the car bomb, fair play to them. This dog is going to make me kill myself. <laughs> Speaking of killing myself, I don't even know if I should be doing this, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Christian! It's Christian! It's for now. I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding? Why? Does Why? it know how to explode? I imagine it does, but if it explodes, I mean... We could switch it to this guy, but this guy obviously doesn't want to get hit by ice moves, so I think we just gotta... Yeah, so... 
We just gotta fight it. This were fucked. <laughs> nah, we're fine, we're fine. It'll do like two damage, but we'll poison it. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> oh, no! Shit. Oh. Uh, oh, no. What, wait, what's the accuracy on poison gas? I might just use that. It, wasn't it like 50% at some point? It's 80. I think we have to go for that. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna have to poison it. Yeah. Oh, if Justin Roiland dies, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> it's gonna be the fucking Morty impressions out the window. I know. As soon as they began. Like, how easily could I have said, oh, oh geez, Rick, there's a red ice. <laughs> you know what, I suppose you could have said that. Uh, but you know what? I'm kind of glad you didn't. Maybe I will. <laughs> I, maybe I will get Justin Roiland killed for it. Um, we are in a bit of a pickle. I'm not gonna lie. Like, what moves does it even have? It just keeps using cuss. Why is it cussing for? Oh wait, it's only attacks icy wind, does it? Oh, wait, hold on. We might be okay. He's like, ooh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I didn't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, my. he's oh, a fat oh, fuck. Oh jeez, I have, I have amnesia. <laughs> I have Did amnesia. I do that? Was that me? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh. No! <laughs> shit! He, he actually did it. Oh, Justin. Ah, Justin's dead, man. That's really bad. Justin. Damn. Oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we were in Northern Ireland, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, oh. it's like modern terrorism, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm too good, man. I, I, I'm just too good. What a read, huh? I knew what was happening. Nah, nothing. <laughs> well, that Not was even a scratch. That was certainly something. Yeah, well, he's certainly dead. He so is, fuck yeah. that guy. He got put in a spliff there. Alright, let's just have something manageable for the last one. That's manageable, right? He, yeah. I love Polyrath. <laughs> I love that guy's design. He's just pissed off Polyworld. Yeah, he's an angry guy. <laughs> you know what? I think Nurses. One of my mates said to me a while ago that Polly Whirl is like the most Pokemon Pokemon ever, and I was like, yeah. you know what? That's actually fair. Polly Whirl really just is a Pokemon, isn't it? Polly Whirl, like Bar Pikachu. Polly Whirl was the first Pokemon I ever saw because my sister had a Polly Whirl fucking toy when I was a kid. I was really, really, like, really little. Really, really little. I just had a Polyworld toy. Um, it was quite cool. It, it, you know, like, out of the center of it, mm -hmm. it had a, like, a toggle on the back. You basically, it was like a bath toy. It squirted water out the middle of it. It was really <laughs> fucking cool. That's pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, she had a Polyworld toy. That was the first Pokemon, like, I've seen. So, yeah. It is a very Pokemon Pokemon. Man, me and this Polyrath are having a fucking mid-off there. We fucking missed, fucking missed four attacks in a row. Yeah, that was kind of humiliating on both parties, to be honest. Oh, fuck. That did a lot of damage. Maybe I, I should have just been using Mega Drain. Oh, Ghislaine. Oh, she woke up. Oh, Ghislaine. Great, great, great. <laughs> oh, my God. That's nothing. Never mind. She, uh, he's gonna fucking heal the Polyrath now, right? It might be in heal range. So should I use? I'm gonna use stones for. Her. It might not be the. Uh, yeah, thank God it is. Cristiano. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> oh, we can call. It. What did fucking? What did Kareem Benzema do wrong again? But he's a criminal. Who who is a footballer? Is it? Yeah, he won the Ballon d'Or last year. What did he do? Um, <laughs> oh yeah, he blackmailed a fellow French footballer using a sex tape. Oh, <laughs> that's fucking he got evil. done for blackmail. <laughs> oh man, he's not gonna be happy about this one. He's gonna be trying to put me to sleep. I ain't going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, try and put me to sleep, bud. <laughs> 
me when I'm gaming at night and my mom is telling me to go to bed. <laughs> go to bed! Yeah, try try putting me to sleep. Try bro. putting me to sleep now, mom. I'm causing an uproar. Oh my ah! days! What the fuck? We almost got fucking killed. Yeah, mom, I'm gaming. <laughs> there was one time. So I always used to have my Game Boy under my fucking pillow on my DS. <laughs> the fucking, sorry, that fucking polyrad. That literally was, that was all fucking mams everywhere. Fucking beating the shit out of you. Fucking putting you into submission. <laughs> fucking tell you to go to bed, turn the fucking Game Boy off. <laughs> turn it off! <laughs> no, I said turn it off! It's ten o'clock! Go to and bed! you're still on your DS! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can see your Nintendo under your pillow. It's still lighting up. Give that now! I can hear it. You didn't even turn the volume off. No, I'm, no, I'm not even on it. It's not even. I'm not even. It's a DS, by the way, not a Nintendo. <laughs> oh, mummy, please, please. I'm not in school tomorrow, please. I'd been trying to catch Zapdos at the fucking power plant on Fire Red, right? <laughs> and the bedtime came and I hadn't caught yet, so I took it to bed. Mum came and she's like, Right, give us that! <laughs> and I'm like, no, Mom, I'm still trying to catch Zapdos. Oh. I don't care about Zapdos. You can get Zapdos in the morning. Give us that. Uh. <laughs> I was like, Mom, man. No, oh, please. I just to... Please. <laughs> so it's a school night, and it's like 10 o'clock. Potter and his friends are smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a J, Potter? <laughs> Are you smoking a cheeky J on Hogwarts property? Are you trying to Potter? chief a whole ass blunt right now? <laughs> what did Snape hand even teach the them? <laughs> Potter, <laughs> hand over the reefer, Potter. You Potter, have your mother's ass. <laughs> We're not going to do today's class. I'm going to show you how to chief the whole blunt. <laughs> You're not inhaling properly, Potter. Watch, I will teach you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot we fight this girl in this game, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot she existed. <laughs> uh. Oh, she's got Martha Stewart's nah, fucking, like, cousin. <laughs> Oh shit, wait, Justin Roiland's dead. Oh man, Justin. Alright, well, let's just let this, um. Wingle kill me. Ducklet really is Wingle's <laughs> cousin. No, nah, other way around. I like Wingle more. No, that's what I'm saying. Ducklet is Wingle's <laughs> cousin. Oh, sorry, I'm. <laughs> Potter, watch and learn, and I will show you how to get stoned to bits. <laughs> I will trade you marijuana for your cum in a bottle of water. <laughs> they say the semen of a young man can keep you alive for years. Potter, it is the life elixir. <laughs> life elixir. <laughs> What's it? You know that thing where you stick shit up your ass to make yourself, like, uh, lose weight? <laughs> oh, I did the, the, the thing that they did in, um... South Park. South Park. Yeah, what if, they, what if you put other people's cum in your penis? Does it get bigger? <laughs> Potter, I want to put your cum in my penis, Potter. <laughs> the reason your mother went with your father is because I have a small penis, Potter. I have developed a new way to not have to use penis pills. <laughs> Lily Potter wouldn't have died if she had slept with me instead of James <laughs> Potter. But he had a massive penis. Pot Potter, pull your penis out and let me see. Oh if my god, he is the chosen father. one. <laughs> hmm, hung like a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use Wingardium Leviosa on your penis or are you just happy to see me, Potter? Rest in beats. Alan Rickman. That's a that's a rest in beats right there. Yeah, he rocks. <laughs> you know what? He was in that other movie as well. That was that shit was pretty good. Um, Die Which Hard. Other movie. Yeah, yeah, he was. That movie was bussing. I'm making. I'm not gonna lie. You're also in Love Actually. No, oh, but you can't love actually. So I'm, is all I'm supposed to do just like mosey on up the other way? Is it to go to thingy? Uh -oh. Yeah. 
Nimbasa said to. One damage, that's crazy. Who do you think's a bigger shagger? Professor Dumbledore or Professor Snape? Who do I think is a bigger shagger? Yeah. Um, Dumbledore. Why is that? He's an older guy, he's been around the block a bit more, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to give it to Professor Dumbledore on this one. Do you reckon there's wizard gay bars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe there is, I don't know. Because obviously in, in Hogsmeade, they have a wizard pub, right? Is so that the like real life version of it, is it? Hogsmeade's like no 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 Hogsmeade there's like it's like a village near Hogs Hogwarts. Oh sorry, I thought you were talking about you know the way there's like the the like real what, life like one. the studio tour. Yeah yeah I thought that's what they called <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Nah, there's like it's a village near Hogwarts, right? So the go there's a pub there. So surely if there's a pub sure if they have wizard pubs, they have wizard gay bars. Surely. Yeah. Especially of if course, such of an influential wizard like Albus Dumbledore was Famously gay. <laughs> Surely. Famously. <laughs> they would provide. I think, I think they'd have to. Wizard gay bars. I think it would be very bigoted not to. Yeah. But the wizard world, you know, it is bigoted. You know who's at, at the... That's, the, yeah, actually, do you yeah. know what? That's fair. I mean, fucking, what's her name? <laughs> what is her name again? J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the most bigoted person on the planet. <laughs> well, I don't know if I go that far. There's some, <laughs> there's some fairly bigoted people out there. Uh, a little guy my, my called... My favourite... Uh, my favourite JK fucking law is when she was getting called out for being like homophobic. She's like, I'm not homophobic. Dumbledore's gay. <laughs> And that was the first announcement. That's it wasn't in the book. It wasn't ever hinted at. And she's like, Dumbledore's gay. Yeah, I, I I like the one where she said that Hermione is black, and then yeah, she's like, how can I be racist? Hermione's black. Uh, but the first book describes her as a fair, a fair. Yeah, it's like <laughs> light brown haired, fair skinned white girl. Yeah, and it like mentions how she has pale white skin and shit. Yeah, like multiple times. <laughs> like it's. Uh... <laughs> is there any black people in fucking? That movie, or sorry, not the movie. I know there isn't the movie, but is there any actually officially, no, officially mentioned people of color in? No, not in the books. That's there's, crazy. In the films, yeah, but in the books, I don't think there's any. I don't remember any black wizards in the books. Now, look, I could just be being totally wrong. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember any characters explicitly being, being colored yeah. mentioned as not being white. Because. I I know that oh, there's, no, there's Chow, there's a Chinese girl. Oh, but that's about that. That's all you're getting. Like. <laughs> no more, no less. Because I know that in the movies they did. There was like some like fat Irish guy who played one of Malfoy's little drones, and then he got <laughs> kicked out of the movies because he was like <laughs> caught drunk back, driving or something, yeah. wasn't he? And then he's like, no, he, he got caught dealing, man. He got caught dealing. Oh, he got caught dealing. <laughs> Yeah, then yeah, they, then I'm they, sure he was a dealer. Then they, what you call it? He's like a like six foot five ripped black dude in the next movie. Yeah, I did like that. It's like, have you ever seen that meme where it's like white people when they're alone singing in the car, and it's like a picture of a white bloke, and it the screen fades to black, and then it just comes up with a black guy. <laughs> what was that guy's name in the movie? Like, what character was he? It's either crab or. Goyle, I can't remember. That's crab? Know. Maybe Crab was the one who got sacked? I never actually watched, like, the... many of the Harry Potter thing. I think I watched the first one and, like, the second last one. I've watched quite a bit of Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, it explains why you're, uh, you know, you know how to do a better Snape uh, than me. Look, man. I'm, I'm a... <laughs> white, English, mid-class... <laughs> person raised in the 2000s. <laughs> you can do Snape. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was spoon-fed Harry Potter. Oh, okay. Childhood. <laughs> it's all... Literally, middle-class parents love putting Harry Potter on for their kids. <laughs> oh, now you go just watch a bit of Harry Potter and I'm gonna go on Facebook and cheat on your dad. Don't worry. Obelisk? Wait. <laughs> that fella Wait. Fun, that, that, your pal. Like the guy from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Yeah, the big blue guy. Actually, Obelisk is the Tormentor from Yu-Gi-Oh! He is one of the three 
um, Egyptian god cards alongside his co-workers, the Winged Dragon of Ra and Slifer the Sky Dragon. <laughs> Did you know in the anime, Slifer the Sky Dragon has two mouths, so he can attack two times per turn? He is one of the only Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the original anime to ever be seen doing this thing, which is very interesting because in real Yu-Gi-Oh, he cannot do that. Can you not? Oh, well, actually, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to tell my mama on you. My name is Stuart Griffin. Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> yeah, remember the Don't time? Tell you the remember story. the time where Brian <laughs> Griffin was uh, was actually not my dog? <laughs> <laughs> Peter, what are you talking about? Here's your dog, Brian. Brian. <laughs> but <you're laughs> <stupid> dog. <laughs> Uh, Brian, <laughs> stop humping the pillows. <laughs> Brian, I swear, I will get you a different type of dog. Please, stop humping my leg. <laughs> I'm a child, Brian. <laughs> Brian, I thought you died. <laughs> In a car accident. <laughs> yeah, wait, how did they swing that one, huh? Uh, Stewie went back in time, I'm sure, and saved and brought... Changed what happened. Ah, okay. So, and you're, what you're telling me is, Avengers: Infinity War copied it. Yeah, the copy family. Damn, yeah. that's crazy. Did I ever tell you the story of um, <laughs> of what? <laughs> when my dad caught his sleep talking caught, when I was like twelve. You sleep talking. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? I was twelve, asleep. <laughs> I was just lying there, going, Brian, Brian. <laughs> Mom, Brian. mom, mom! I, pro I mean, let's be real. I probably wasn't calling for him in Stewie Griffin's voice, but I was just lying there, and going, "Brian, Brian!" <laughs> calling for Brian Griffin. <laughs> you, you, you were scared so much by him getting run over. Brian, <laughs> no, man. Let's go down to Cohog. Hit the, hit the drunken clam. Hit the drunken get a few beers. <laughs> what do you say? I have a couple beers with Jerome and. Watch call it. Wait for Peter and the gang to show up. I wonder if they'll be recording one of their famous podcasts down there. What are you talking about, buddy? What do you mean? They did that one episode where they did podcasts. Didn't. You know, I was going to say it. I haven't seen that episode. <laughs> Me neither. I've just seen it on fucking... You know the way you get like a hundred fucking episodes of um, Family Guy in your fucking uh, shorts feed? Yeah, I get it on TikTok as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, have you seen the clip where Lois finds Peter fucking eating out her mom? Yeah, and she screams like, PETER! <laughs> 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 now, listen, we're gonna get right down to the bottom of this, Tom. Why were you fucking my wife? Brian? <laughs> Brian? <laughs> where are you, Brian? What does Brian even talk like? His voice is so boring. Hey, Stewie. He's like, oh, come on, Stewie, what are you talking about here? That's, that, yeah, that's a perfect Brian Griffin. <laughs> it's different. not even, though. <laughs> There's nothing like him. <laughs> it's just annoying enough that it is him, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> giggly, giggly, giggly. <coughs> oh, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put, put Justin Rowland back in a fucking box like he deserves it. <laughs> well, he's gonna be in a box for a long time. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be in a cell. I'm going to dice with the tiny little bits. Where is he? Can you imagine being Justin Roiland's, like, fucking cellmate? And you, you just get woke up in the middle of the night going, by him going, Oh, jeez! Oh, oh, no. um, I'm, I'm in jail still! <laughs> uh, where's, where, I, I thought this was, like, an episode of Rick and Morty. Um... Where's my portal gun? No, you know for a fact it would literally just be them standing there and be like, they're all there like cracking their fucking knuckles like this and be like, do the voice. Ah, <laughs> ah, oh, oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> and they're all like, <laughs> Like, man, this guy is so fucking voice. funny. Do it again. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Really. Do it again. <laughs> oh, jeez, oh, Rick. No, do the voice again while you're sucking my thang. Get out your portal gun and take me to the blowjob to mention Royland. <laughs> <laughs> I blow job Rick. <laughs> Brian, 
I'm trying to be a gaming YouTuber. <laughs> oh, it's Botanist Joe. Joe. Hey, Botanist Joe. <laughs> Peter, I'm Botanist Joe. I turned myself into a botanist, Peter. <laughs> I'm, I'm Botanist Joe. I'm in the Pokemon <laughs> universe. I've got an Aaron, Peter. <laughs> Peter, I can walk. <laughs> I'm in the Pokemon universe and I have w functional legs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I blow job Joe. <laughs> Let me suck your cock, Peter. <laughs> Peter, I notice your wife's been uh, out in the lawn lately, not sucking my cock. Oh, good lord! Must be great being um. Lordy, lordy, lordy. What's his face? What's that guy's name? Patrick Warburton. Must be great yeah. being him. You don't have to fucking do um. um you just fucking. Speak in your regular voice, except slightly more exaggerated, and make it a million bajillion dollars. <laughs> nice gag. <N> nice gag. <laughs> hey, Peter. <laughs> nice gag. <laughs> That's the only difference between fucking Joe Swanson and, um, oh, what's his name? Kronk. Kronk. Is Kronk softer spoken? Yeah, he is softer spoken. <laughs> the difference is how they say the word cock. Gak. Who's good? Uh, fucking Kong says. Gak. He says Gak. Joe says Gak. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nice Gak. Nice Gak. Nice Gak. <laughs> <laughs> the intricacies of saying right. the word cock in Patrick Warburton's <laughs> voice. <laughs> what can I say? What else is he in? Many, many towns. Fucking everything. Hey, Shaman. Bad time to have my flying type be asleep. I'll tell you that much. She just fired. <laughs> it didn't Donald Trump say go, Israel must be wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs>